So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. And that strategy just means that instead of reading the entire question all at once, what I prefer to do is to read it um, slowly and be I mean, maybe read it more actively and make sure that I'm writing down any quantitative information as I read it. Right. So I want to translate as I read. So the question says, Jamie is preparing for a bicycle race. His goal is to bicycle an average of at least 280 miles per week for four weeks. So there's some quantitative information. So he wants an average of at least, which means greater than or equal to 280 miles per week um, for four weeks. Okay. He bicycled 240 miles the first week. Okay, so week one was 240 miles. 310 miles the second week, so week two, three, ten. 320 the third week, so week three was 320 miles. Which inequality can be used to represent the number of miles x? Jamie could bicycle on the fourth week to meet his goal. All right, so here is all of the provided information. And basically we're saying week four is this X value, right, that we don't know. So we have an average. How do you find an average? Well, you find an average by adding up all of the values that you've been provided with and then divided by, uh, dividing by the number of values that you have. So we know that we're getting mileage for each week. So I'm going to say 240 plus 310 plus 320 plus the x value from week four divided by four we want to and i'll just say equals 280 for here in fact i'll, I'll keep it as the greater than or equal to 280 right so all i've done is just translate this word average into how you actually find an average so this is the non-calculator section which means we can't add this up on a calculator. So I'll just, you know, show the math here to the side. 240, 310, 320. So add those zeros. And then 4 plus 1 is 5, plus 2 is 7. And 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 3 is 8. So this turns into 870 plus x divided by 4 is greater than or equal to 280. And um, in fact, let me look at the answer choices to see how, okay, so maybe I did not need to actually add all of those up because we still have our raw numbers there. So I'm gonna remove that. So what do I, what can I do? So choice A has a three in the denominator. That's definitely not correct. Choice B looks like we're multiplying the right side by X which is also not correct, right? If I were to multiply anything, I can multiply by four on both sides so that the four here is gone. Um, that would help me if I were to continue to find X, like that would be the next step that I would use to figure out what X is. So let's try C. So C is breaking up the fraction. This is perfectly fine, right? Each thing separately over four, but then the X, right? The X should technically also be divided by four. So C for that reason is gone. And then D looks like, oh, D looks like exactly what we did here, where if we multiply both sides of the inequality by four, then we end up with, right, this numerator here, our 240 plus 310 plus 320 plus X is greater than or equal to, and then we have this 280 times four. So therefore, choice D is the best answer here.